Now, this was a challenge from a colleague uh, maybe a couple of months ago, and it was just so interesting how this was solved, uh, her solution. So here is our requirement. What is the largest number inside this text string? Now, we can look at this manually and figure out that it's 2,324. It's right there. But imagine we have 2,000 rows of data, and we can't just go through this and spend uh, an hour doing this manually. So there's probably different ways to solve it, but in this case, it was solved using an array formula, and I just love this approach. So here's our requirement. Once again, the largest number in cell F4. Here is the text, and here's our formula. So we have this array formula. Notice those special brackets, Control, Shift, Enter. You can't type them in. But uh, before I dive into looking at these different parts, let's go back one step and review the normal use of the mid function. Because you see how we have the mid function here. That's basically how this whole thing starts with the mid function. Everything else comes after that. So let's look at this cell. This is the normal way to use mid. You look at a particular text, which is our F cell F4. You start at a, a particular number, a single number, which is 5. So we count from the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is that 0, and then we say we want three characters to, to extract three characters. So we're going to get a 0, the letter L, and the letter K. So if I press the escape key, sure enough, here is our text. Now, let's start walking through uh, how this whole thing works. We're going to take this single value here for a 5, the start number, and the single value, the 3, for the number of characters, and that's going to be uh, the, the real guts of this whole thing, how it works. So we're going to look at this part here, and for each of our 30 start points, we want to extract a series of characters, 25 characters. So let's go back in here, and I'm going to press right there. That's our text, a single cell reference, which is right there. Now, uh, start number. It's A1 to A30, so we're using the row function. If I press the F9 key, we see 1 to 30. Uh, it's creating all of those numbers. Now I'm going to press undo, and if we go over to number of characters, I press the F9 key, we see 25. Now you notice how here we have commas, and if I go back over to the row and press F9, it's semicolons. So this creates this two-dimensional matrix, which has um, extracts a whole bunch of things oops, from our text here. So now let's look at that part. Uh, we want to go inside of here. I'm going to show you what's in there right after we create this matrix of pulling out all these things. So if I press value, and I want to back up two steps to not do uh, to ignore the multiply by one for now. I press the F9 key, and let's look at what's inside of here. We have to expand this a bit. Lots of stuff inside of here, but if I go to the very top, we see an A. So it looks at here, it extracts A. Then it extracts AS, then AS4, uh, AS42, and it keeps going all the way across, getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually, a little bit off the screen, I think, we would see a semicolon, which indicates the end, and then it starts in the second position, extracts an S, S4, S42, and it goes all the way across, then it keeps continuing. So we get all of these uh, combinations of letters and numbers. Uh, so. As crazy as, as this looks, it's going to get a lot easier because the next step, I'll press the escape key, make this a bit smaller again. Uh, the next step is just to say, hey, multiply by 1. Try to convert each part to a number. So we go inside of here. Let's do that part now. Now I'm going to highlight the whole thing, including multiply by 1. I press F9, and now we get all these errors because obviously you can't, only a pure number, like a 4 or a 24 or a 9 or a 902, could be multiplied by 1 and not be an error. So we have all these errors, and a few numbers survive inside of here. But now we're going to go to the next step, and that is going to be the if error. Is it a number? Yes, we want to keep it. No, then we'll turn it into a blank. So once again, we go back to our formula, and we go in here. We want to this time go to the if error. Highlight this press the F9 key, and now it's much more readable. We're getting rid of all that junk, and all we're left with uh, are the numbers. Some of them are off to the right. We can't see them all, but we just have numbers remaining. And you see there's no quotes around the numbers because they've been converted to a number. So finally, we go to our step four, which is the max. That's the easiest part. All we're doing is once this is left over, out of all these numbers, we say, hey, which one is the max? And it would be doing this, and it's 2,000, 
324. Now, we want to just test it one more time, and so our second text string, and then it's extracting 6,484, which is right there. But what if we change this? Let's test this out. I want to make sure that if I'm going to go in here and change the 1,000 to 10,000 and press Enter. And sure enough, now it knows that 10,000 is the biggest number inside of here, and it extracts that. Uh, so, uh, if you have a different way to solve this, maybe VBA, maybe you're using Power Query, who knows, or a different kind of formula, I'd love to know. So, please leave a comment below the video.